Uh, well, Bannockton, we're here at Culture Vannon in St John's um, and we've got Linda Irvine from the East Belfast Mission over here who's going to be delivering the Ned Madler lecture on Saturday. Uh, it's great to have you. You having a good time so far, Linda? Absolutely. It's yeah. lovely to be here. It's my first visit ever oh, and nice. it's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Well, and it, the weather's coming out great as well. But I mean, it's, it's, I'm really pleased to have you over because it's um, a bit of ambition to get you over here. Could you tell us a little bit about the work you do at the East Belfast Mission anyway? Well, I'm based in what is a, a, a loyalist um, unionist area. Yeah. It's a working class area in the east of um, the city. It's a, an area that has faced a lot of problems over the last lot of years and it's an area of high unemployment and um, low educational achievement. We have introduced the Irish language into the area and sadly, I suppose in Northern Ireland, the Irish language has become more associated with the sort of nationalist um, Catholic community and people within the, the Protestant Unionist community have rejected it and see it as something alien. So what I've been doing is showing people that actually it belongs to us all. It's a language that bridges the divide, really. Yeah. Well, in some sense, that matches a bit with the work we're trying to do here, saying it's, you don't have to be born and brought up in the Isle of Man to, to want to speak Manx. If you want to make this place your home, then you should have access to this sort of culture and language, really. So it's very much a, a cross-cultural thing, sort of stuff you're doing there, then. Yes. Um, you know, I mean, even the fact that we are here today and we've been over in Scotland and we, we've been to Wales, we're showing people, look, you know, this doesn't take away your Britishness. In fact, if anything, it unites you even closer to other countries, other peoples within these islands. And I, I think if people saw the Gaelic language in that way, you know, they wouldn't feel compromised by it. So, you know, for us, there's certainly a healing quality about the language. And of course, it's all around us. It's in our place names, it's in our surnames, it's in words that we use every day. Yet the majority of people have no access to it. Yeah, yeah. Well, the lecture will be at two o'clock on um, Saturday afternoon at St John's Mills, St John's Conference Centre. I'm really looking forward to it. I've seen you speak before and you're both, uh, you're both entertaining and sort of uh, invigorating, really. It's really... Um, people I think will get a lot, lot out of it because you've got a great message to say I think basically yeah right. well I mean we are just saying that the language belongs to us all and that yeah. is the important thing and people need to hear that yeah well they will on Saturday afternoon and it's certainly a, it's, it's certainly at Culture Van and it's something we strongly believe in that the language belongs to everyone